medical notepad brought to you by cardiovascular systems incorporated's patient advocacy campaign take a stand against amputation and the weight of my heart what are the different bypasses that are available to patients different types of bypasses that are out there include using a uh, PTFE or a prosthetic graft or a vein, which is your uh, body's own material, to bypass around an area that's blocked. And so the different types of bypasses that exist come whether or not you're bypassing around an area that is up in the uh, part of the leg that's above the patella versus below, and the patella is basically your knee. So to break it down very simply, when you're dealing with the area from the groin to the knee, you can do a bypass from the femoral artery, which is basically at the groin area, to about the area that's just above the knee in an area called Hunter's Canal, to some place called a, a superficial femoral artery. Now that bypass, as I mentioned earlier, can be done with prosthetic, or it can be done with vein, which is um, part of your own body. So if we're doing it with prosthetic, then we use a uh, doctor plastic, so to speak, and we tunnel it um, along your uh, vein, uh, excuse me, along your artery in your leg, and that's called an anatomical bypass, or we tunnel it around just in the, the fat that's in your leg, and that's a, a non-anatomical bypass, and we connect it to the area that's above your knee. Now, um, if we're using vein, we can take vein from either the same leg that we're operating on or the opposite leg. Sometimes you can even take vein from the arms and splice it together. And then the tunneling is very similar to uh, what we do when we use prosthetic. Now, if you're looking below the knee to a below knee bypass, in that case, what you're doing is something very similar as in you're coming off again from the femoral artery, but you're bypassing to one of the three blood vessels that's below the knee. So that can be the anterior tibial, the posterior tibial, or the perineal. Occasionally, you can even go all the way down to the foot to some of the uh, arteries that are in the foot that make up the plantar loop, which is like a roundabout basically that's in your foot. Um, the further down in the leg you go, the smaller the arteries are, the more likely that the bypass will ultimately clot off. And the reason for that is because the arteries that are further down in the leg, because they're smaller, are going to have sort of a bottleneck of blood as it makes it all the way down to the leg. So that has to do with the technical aspects of the way in which we do the surgery, what conduit we pick, which is again the prosthetic bypass versus using the vein. And usually below the knee, you always want to use vein. But if you sometimes have to, you can use uh, plastic. And the reason for, them, for that, again, is because you can get thrombosis or clotting of that bypass as it moves down. The most important thing about it is that it's not something that should be feared. Um, a lot of times when people get bypasses, there's this worry, oh my goodness, you're going to fillet my leg open, and what are you connecting to, and you know whether or not this is going to clot off, am I going to get an infection? How can you take vein out of, a, out of my leg? Am I not going to have problems if you take the vein away? And the answer to all of this is that, indeed, if you take vein, you can easily sacrifice that and nothing happens other than maybe a little bit of swelling, which we can manage from your doctor's side. The infection rate is a concern, but we do everything that we can in order to reduce that. One of the big things that we can do is use vein instead of prosthetic to reduce the infection rate. And then you have other issues like the actual surgical aspect of it where you appear to have very large cuts on your leg. But the fact of the matter is that usually the cut that's the longest is where we're taking vein out of your leg. And that's very, very superficial. It's maybe a centimeter in depth. So it's not like we're going deep into your leg along that entire cut. Um, the most important thing you can do is speak to your doctor about it, get a good sense about the area that's being bypassed to and the conduit choice that they're using. Are they using prosthetic or vein? And then some of the uh, expectations that you should have as a patient postoperatively in terms of pain, swelling, and when you're gonna get back on your feet. Um, just remember that if you're getting a bypass, it means that we're doing everything that we can to save your leg. And so the end justifies the means, so to speak. So I am Anaita Dua with this week's Medical Notepad. Remember, the advice and views offered during this series are for informational and educational purposes only. Always ask your own healthcare provider for explicit consent before acting on any information provided here. If you want more information on peripheral artery disease, go to standagainstamputation.com. And for real-time support, go to thewaytomyheart.org.